In this video, I will show you how to file resident individual income tax uh, return using a P9 form from the Teacher Service Commission, that is TSC, and then also using the Excel uh, workbook. So the first thing you do is to log in into your itax, that is itax.kre.go.ke. Then you input your PIN, your carry PIN. And then you enter your password. And then you perform this arithmetic here. 148 minus 7, that is 141. Then you click on login. Then once you log in, uh, go to this tab, returns, then select file return. We're going to select file return. File return. Then you let it load. Come down here and then select the tax obligation. That is income tax, resident individual. Then you click on next. Then you scroll down, uh, come here and download the income tax resident individual form, the Excel form. Click there to download it. Then once it's downloaded, uh, go check it in your downloads. You go check it in your downloads. And the Excel sheet, which this one here. Then you click to open it. You open the Excel sheet. Once the Excel workbook is open, you enable macros by clicking on enable content here. This allows you to edit the file and therefore be able to enter the necessary income tax details. Then make sure you're using this latest version 18.0 point nine to file tax for the return period 2023 for the year 2023 so section a requires that you enter basic return info so you start by typing in your care pin you start by typing in your care pin type in your care pin And then select the type of return in our case it's original uh, if you had filed and you're tr trying to correct a wrong you select amended but in our case you're filing for the first time so you select original then the return period is obviously the first of january the first of january 2023 to the 31st of December the 31st of December let it load fast yeah the 31st of December 2023 yeah that is all that is needed in this section section a not unless you have other types of income apart from employment income that you wish to declare moving on to the next section that is section f here you are required to enter details of employment income as they appear on your p9 form so the pin of the employer and the name of the employer are uh, clearly uh, indicated on your p9 form in our case uh, the employer tax pin is this one and the name is actually the teacher service commission so you just go back to your excel and then type in the pin of the employer the pin of the employer zero five one zero nine eight zero eight four and that is the pin of the employer the name of the employer is uh, Teachers Service. 
service commission teacher service commission now the uh, gross pay column you go back to your to your p9 form the taxable pay the total taxable pay is actually the gross pay it's five hundred and twenty four thousand eight hundred and forty eight that is the, uh, the gross pay you go back to your uh, excel then type in uh, the gross pay that is five hundred and twenty four thousand eight hundred and forty eight then allowances and benefits from empl employment other than kind housing should be zero if you have any you indicate the net value of housing zero if you have any you indicate then pension if it is in excess of three hundred thousand of course when you check when you check your p9 form uh pension the total pension is actually 2160 this is less than three hundred thousand so pension if in excess of course it's less so you you put zero here and then come to this section where you need to enter the data for january to june income you go back on your p9 form and then that income from january to june you you get the sum get the sum from january to june that is the january to june income i've done my sum already so my sum is two two fifty seven one six four then january to june pension check your p9 form january to june you say it's zero january to june all of it is zero so it, it totals to zero and then july to december income you do the same you add from july to december get the sum i've already gotten my sum is 267 684 then the pension from july to december you do the same pension pension from july to december get the sum this is 2160 2160 yes you good that's all for this section of course you don't have details for your wife so that's all for this section the next section which is section m requires that you enter details of pay deduct deducted at source uh, from your salary so you start by entering the pin of the employer of course we had entered so you just select from the drop down the name of the employer is uh, teachers service commission then the taxable salary go back to your pin and form for the taxable salary for you to get the tax it's also known as the chargeable pay which is the difference between uh, the taxable pay which is the gross pay minus uh, pension the gross pay which is the taxable pay minus pension gives you the uh, taxable salary so you take this 524 848 minus 2160 to give you 522,688 so that is the taxable salary the difference between gross pay and pension so in our case it's 522,688 then tax payable on taxable salary is actually the tax charged and it is um, the sum of pay and reliefs then you check your p9 form uh, pay auto is actually the total pay that is 65,406 this is the pay so when you add this pay to the total reliefs this is the total reliefs for the year 28,800 the sum gives you uh, the tax uh, pay payable on taxable salary so in our case 
that sum the sum of pay and reliefs uh, comes to 94,206.6 then the amount of tax deducted that is the pay you, you as well read that directly from your PNN form this is it's actually total pay here 65,406 total pay total pay is the amount of tax deducted here uh, so total pay is 65,406 uh, uh, yes then moving on to this other section uh, details of income tax paid in advance if you have any details you put if you don't have just leave the section blank then on to uh, the tax computation that is section t you have to type in the defined pension contribution go back to your p9 defined pension contribution that is the total pension contributed in that particular year is 2160 so that is what you type in here 2160 then scroll down to personal relief total personal relief for the year check your it's 28800 that is the mpr value 28800 28800 that is the total the total personal relief for the year then now the next step is to validate your document so you come here and click validate then you let it load so you go back to your itax portal uh, you can see the type of return is original the return period is from january to 2023 to december 2023 so you're supposed to uh, click on browse to select a file that is supposed to file so it's actually the zip file that you've uh, uh, generated from the Excel, so which is this one. You select that file and then you click on open. So the file is there already. So you agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, once you do, you click on submit. Yes, upload the form. Do you want to upload the form? Click OK. And then you have uh, filed your returns. So you can go ahead and download the returns receipt. It's downloaded. Then it shows you that you've downloaded it already. Clearly shows now everything here. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.